Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to continue with our RPG game tutorial series, and we will start setting up the actual UI kind of widget component parts um, for our equipment. So, um, in the next video, we'll actually kind of create the little 3D kind of live preview part uh, that you saw in the um, in an earlier video that I posted about this. Uh, but with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to actually do is um, we're going to go into our edit and project settings and we're going to add a new input here. Um, and oh, it looks like I already had it, but we're going to add a new action mapping, okay, that we will call equipment, okay, and this will be the E key for us. Um, you can of course make it whatever key you want, uh, but our two kind of primary events that we have here, action mappings rather, are our inventory which uses I and our equipment which uses the E key. So um, we've got that made and now we can go to our um, character okay and again we'll come back to that this in a little bit uh, but basically we're gonna do a very similar setup here uh, but we're gonna change up just a few things so uh, first what we'll do is we'll right click and type equipment and we'll do the uh, event in input action event Okay, and then very similar, we're going to do a branch. And for this branch, just untick this really quick and promote it to a variable. And we will call this is equipment open. Okay. So obviously, it's just, you know, checking is the equipment open. All right. Now, if it's not open, what we're going to do is we're going to create a widget. The widget we'll create is going to be our UI underscore equipment. Then with that, we're going to promote this to a variable and call this equipment reference. All right, so very similar setup so far. Um, then from there, we're going to say add to the viewport. Okay. And then, you know, again, up here, we can actually just take this if we want um, and copy and paste it because it's going to be the same exact thing. And now the widget in focus will be this one, the equipment reference. Okay, and now finally, what we'll want to do is, um, like, just like up here, how we say we set is inventory open to true, we're going to want to set is um, equipment open to true. Okay, so that's perfect. Great. Next, we just need to do this part, so we can actually just, you know, take this little chunk. Okay, and we'll control um, copy and paste. Okay, so if it's true, we're going to come down here and remove from parent. Right, and the one we want to remove from the parent will this time be our equipment reference. So plug that in. All right. Then you know we're setting our input mode uh, back to normal, and then finally we want to say set is equipment um, is equipment open to false. Okay. Now there's one extra thing that we need to do here to both of these um, to make sure that they work right, um, and this is we need to add a little branch that just checks if you know the opposite one is open. All right. Because if it's open, then we're not going to want to, you know, kind of set this input mode to game only. Because if the other one's open, it won't allow you to use the UI mode anymore. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just create a little bit of space, and off of remove from parent, we'll do a branch, and this branch is going to check, you know, if the equipment is open. So for the inventory, right, and we, when we close it, we want to check if equipment is open. Okay, so if it is open, right, if true, then all we're going to do is say set is um, inventory open to false. Okay, so we're just going to do this last little part here. But if it's false, right, so if the, even, if the equipment isn't open, then we're going to plug that in and reset, you know, kind of the game or the game input mode to game. Okay, and now similarly down here, right, we'll do a branch. And what we're going to test or check rather is if our e inventory is open. So just make sure, you know, for the equipment, you're checking is inventory open. And for inventory, you're checking is equipment open. Okay. So if that's false, then we'll set the input modes. Um, but if it's true, then we'll just say set is equipment open um, to false. And we'll just break that link by alt clicking. Okay. And so we should now have. Uh, both of these working, so I'll just comment this out saying uh, create the equipment. Uh, I realize it's a pretty terrible comment, not very descriptive, but whatever. All right, um, 
again, yeah, come back to this. <laughs> All right, so we'll go back to our UI folder, okay, and now we'll start setting up, you know, what these are going to actually look like. So for starters, let's open up the equipment slot, okay, and we're going to get rid of this canvas panel. And what we're going to add instead is go down under panel, we're going to add a size box. And this will help us, you know, make sure that whatever is inside of the size box will always maintain um, the size that we tell it to. So for child layout, we're going to go and tick both width and height and set these to 100 by 100. Um, these are just values that I've found work really well um, with the setup that I'll show. But of course, you know, you can play around with it and find what works for you. All right, next thing that we want to add is a button. So we'll add that right to the size box. Okay, make sure it's horizontal and vertical fill. All right, now we'll change up the normal hovered and pressed kind of um, eh, the styles here. So for image, or for the image here, we're just going to choose that border image. Okay, we'll set it to 100 by 100 and change the draw as to an image. Okay, now we'll do the same exact thing for hovered. Choose our border. And I totally spelled that wrong. Change it to border. Okay, again, 100 by 100. And say image. And I mean, technically, you don't need to change the image size because it'll probably like automatically fit itself to the size box but I just like to do it for safekeeping um, and now the one thing with the hovered right is that we're gonna want to change the tint so we'll set this to about 0.5 uh, alpha and it'll be you know completely white um, so that'll just add a little kind of you know alpha hovered effect okay now last one for pressed we're gonna type border again 100 by 100 and draw as an image okay now for the padding I'm gonna set both of these to zero all right, just because that makes things easier when you start um, setting styles on things later. Um, so, like, if you were to, you know, set the style again, and these were all different values, you need to make sure that you set the values all the same. Um, otherwise, it might look weird from you know instance to instance. So, uh, the very last thing that we're going to add, anyways, is a text. We'll add that to the button. Okay, and we're going to set this to um, to uh, center align. Okay, we're going to change it to auto wrap text. Okay, and we'll leave it to center and center. And then we're going to change the size to about 12. I realize it's going to be really small, but it's, you know, whatever. Don't worry about it. Um, and then we'll change the text here to nothing, just so it's empty by default. So we're going to set this, you know, manually. Now we just want to make sure that we change this to a variable. And we'll call this um, equipment item text. And for button, you know, it's already a variable, but we'll change it to um, equipment item button okay so compile and save now um, that's all we're gonna do for now we'll come back to the graph later um, or actually one thing that we can do in the graph right is go to variables add a variable that will be called item info not not item if no um, item info and we'll change this to an F item info okay make that public and we're good to go so next let's go to our UI equipment and what we're going to do is add a canvas panel onto the canvas panel. I realize that probably sounds a little weird but this will just help us to organize things um, kind of where we want them. So um, I'll align it to the left side okay, and then I'll say position you know, Y to 0 and we'll set its Y alignment to 0.5 because that will kind of center it up. Right now position X I'm going to say 10 because that will kind of push it off the side then for y x we'll go with maybe 600 that might be a little big but um, it'll be fine for now and then for size y i'm going to say um, 750 that might be a good size. so inside this canvas panel now we're going to add an image okay and this will just kind of be a background image all right so we'll anchor it to the full size set it to zero zero and then we'll just change the tint here to black uh, with a 0.85 alpha value so that'll give it a little bit of opacity to kind of, or translucency to kind of see through to the, you know, the background. Um, but you know, you can make it completely opaque if you want. Okay, so we've done that. Next, let's go ahead and add a horizontal box to the canvas panel. And we are going to anchor this to the top all the way across. So we'll reset its offset to zero and set its size to 50. All right, and basically this is just going to be, you know, kind of the title, title box. So I'll just call it title box. All right, and it's going to have the words in it, equipment, so super fun. Um, let's go ahead and take an image, 
and uh, or before that let's add a canvas panel to the box we'll set it to fill then we'll add an image okay and we'll change its anchor to fill as well then reset the values and now we'll change the tint here to kind of that same color as we had in the inventory so about a point uh, two all the way across there we go and then last we'll add a um, text to the canvas panel so we'll anchor it to the center reset everything here um, and change its alignment to 0.5 and 0.5 that'll really make it in the center and then we'll say size to content and lastly change the equipment or change the text to equipment so there we go so now if we test this out really quick press play and I hit E see it shows up right there and now I I have my inventory so we've it's starting to come together a little bit okay so next we're gonna add a vertical box so we'll go find a vertical box add that to this uh, original canvas panel right here okay and we'll just collapse all this so we can see it and this is gonna be our kind of equipment box okay so this is gonna hold all the kind of stuff related to equipment um, so we'll go ahead and anchor that to uh, the full size okay and we'll change its offsets back to zero zero um, but then the offset top will set to 50 just so that you know it doesn't overlap the equipment okay so that's all good next we're gonna add a canvas panel again all right and we'll set it to fill all right then in the canvas panel we are going to add an image again go figure um, and we will anchor it to the um, actually we're gonna anchor it to the center and we're gonna set its uh, you know positions to zero zero alignment to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then its size to 600 by 600 and this will be um, our character image so kind of the you know the the image that will show the live preview okay so um, for right now we're gonna set this to hidden just so we don't have to see it and it's not in the way um, but it is there okay so next thing we're gonna add is um, we're gonna add two uniform grid panels to each side okay um, so we'll go find a uniform grid panel add it to the canvas panel and we're gonna change its anchor to the full length left okay so we'll change the offset there and then we'll change the size X to about 120 okay and that'll be good and we will make this a variable that we will call armor panel okay now we can just hold control C to copy it click on the canvas panel paste it now we'll change its name really quick to uh, weapon panel okay and now we'll simply um, change its anchor to the right side you know reset it and then we'll change the X here to 1 and that'll move it over alright so next we're gonna add um, all of our little widgets so if you recall really quick you know we made this equipment slot so we're gonna add those onto uh, the UI equipment um, into the its individual boxes so let's go ahead and go under you know user created go down to UI equipment slot and we'll add one okay so there it is let's set its horizontal and vertical to, z uh, to centered right now we'll uh, hit control C and control V paste it four times so we should have five so now we'll select the second one change its row to the next row down do the same with the um, other ones you know just add one row each time so um, and it is zero based so just keep that in mind but you should have something ending up like this uh, finally we'll select all these by I just control or can eh, shift click to select them all then we'll control C control V and there we go um, we've got that working now the last thing I'm going to do is just change all their names really quick so make sure so they're all variables right but I'm just going to change their names so I'll do that really quick and then um, I'll see you in a second alright so as you can see here I just named all of um, each of these uh, you know equipment slots going down the line um, according to the enumeration of slot types that we made alright so everything in the armor panel it goes head torso arms legs feet right that's all the slots and then in the weapons panel we have primary right left uh, secondary right left and then the amulet is at the bottom now of course you can change around um, the positions of all these and change up what they're actually what they actually are um, but you know this is just my setup so um, with that thank you for watching guys I hope you liked the video um, in the next one we will actually create the live preview uh, but with that um, I will see you in the next one